Hello everyone, my name is Mark David. You are welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to produce hand sanitizer with the formulation recommended by World Health Organization. Before I proceed to production process, uh, I would like you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The subscription button is right down below the video. Click on it and subscribe and receive notification anytime I post uh, a new video tutorial. Thank you very much for doing that. Like and share my video and comment as well. If you have any question, you can comment below the video. I am I will be glad to answer your question. Thank you very much for doing that. What Health Organization recommends two formulation for the production of hand sanitizer locally? Uh, I will mention the ingredient for the two formulation, but I will be going for one during our production so uh, the first formulation is the the ingredient for the first formulation is ethanol 96 percent concentration ethanol uh, hydrogen peroxide which is 30 percent concentration then glycerin which is 98 percent concentration then distilled water the concentration is not the measurement kindly take note of that the concentration is not the measurement. The, the all these ingredients have their concentration. Hydrogen peroxide we have three percent concentration. Uh, we also have hydrogen per, hydrogen peroxide of six to ten percent concentration. Their reaction are quite different, and we also have hydrogen peroxide of thirty percent concentration you cannot use all those one so you rather go for 30 percent hydrogen peroxide so at your local uh, chemical store when you are buying uh, you you ask for 30 percent hydrogen peroxide that is what you needed here for the production of hand sanitizer under the formula uh, one of recommended by World Health Organization then the second formulation recommended is uh, IPA, which you need to look at. They, you need to buy 99.8% concentration, glycerin 98% concentration, hydrogen peroxide that also is 30% concentration. Then the last one is distilled water. So you could see that I have my ingredients here ready. This is IPA. Uh, isopropyl alcohol is made in the concentration is 99.8 uh, I also have my hydrogen peroxide uh, which is 3% concentration uh, I also have here uh, glycerin which is 98% uh, concentration and then the last ingredient here under the second formulation is distilled water uh, or, or that is the last uh, ingredient before you start uh, your production, you need some tool, uh, which uh, one, uh, you need your measuring cup, you, whichever one that is available at your hand. Uh, you also, in, we have it in sizes. This one is a cup. I also have the smaller size of uh, this size. You could see uh, this one is uh, ML. Uh, I sometimes use them for smaller quantity when i'm doing uh measurement for smaller quantities i use them uh this is another another one uh, you could see this one is 10 ml you also need uh, a bottled container for your production these are the tools that you need for the production of your hand sanitizer I am going for this small container because I am producing 100 ml today. Uh, in a, in the case where you are producing larger quantity, it means you need to have a large, a big uh, tank for yourself, or a big gallons, or a big container covered with lid like this, something cover in order to avoid. Uh, uh, evaporation now that you have your ingredients ready you also have your tools ready uh, the next step is uh, the measurement uh, the quantity that you are going to use 
and what quantity do you really want to produce so uh, most often I do solve this problem uh, when I have all my ingredients ready and I uh, think I need uh, to produce uh, hand sanitizer so I use hand sanitizer calculator um, I provided a link for hand sanitizer calculator so you can check it out and go to the site you will see uh, the link I go to the site uh, then you will see the calculator on the site uh, the calculator will display uh, the the measurement type that you wanted to use is it in ml is, is it in ml or uh, is in centimeters or is in liter uh, whichever quantity you wanted to calculate for your production it is there and then you also select the main ingredient uh, the main ingredient here based on the two formulation recommended by what its organization is ethanol or high ph so if you are if you have ethanol you choose ethanol then the three other ingredients will display the quantity you you, you also uh, select the quantity of ethanol that you are using then the other three ingredients will display their quantity uh, if you are using IPH, you select IPH. Uh, the other ingredient will display the quantity and the output production will also be the quantity of the output production and the concentration of the production will be displayed so that you will not end up producing laser you know the, the, the recommendation by the uh, what age organization is your production must have at least minimum of 70 percent either eternal or uh, 70 percent of uh, IPH so your, your your output must contain that so there is a, that is the reason why often I do go by that uh, hand sanitizer calculator in order to have an accurate output uh, here I'll be producing 100 ml so I have the uh, the quantity of each uh, material with me so IPH I choose IPH which is a second formula uh, formulation recommended uh, of I'll be producing 100 ml uh, the other ingredient which is hydrogen peroxide is 5.5 approximately 5.6 glycerin 1.9 approximately 2 uh, the still water 25.5 ml approximately uh, 26 so and looking at this uh, the total output of my uh, production should be around 132 uh, or what, let's say 133 uh, ml 133 ml uh, you see here I've made a provision of container that will contain all in order to avoid evaporation this is 445 ml uh, that is the provision that I've made my my uh, ingredient to be going in inside this in order to avoid evaporation uh, so let's get started uh, with our production so I need to measure 100 ml 100 ml of high pH um, I need to measure 100 ml of IPH so here I have my 100 ml that is 100 ml so uh, you need to pour it inside this container immediately pour it inside the container immediately to avoid evaporation then you close the remaining IPH for uh, future use so that is the remaining one uh, the second ingredient is uh, your hydrogen peroxide uh, which is 20 uh, cis no hydrogen peroxide which is 6 approximately so 
here I'll be measuring hydrogen peroxide of 6 ml you can see um, here I have 8 ok here we go that is 6 you see that that is 6 approximately so I'll be measuring hydrogen peroxide of 6 ml here you need to be very careful with your hydrogen peroxide because it's very very uh, harsh uh, it's just like a, like bleach so you need to be very very careful with it you need to wear your glove sorry that I'm not using glove uh, I didn't actually make provision for it this morning but you need you over there you need to be very very careful with that then you add it you add it to the quantity uh, or better still add it inside your uh, cup then the other ingredient is one point which is glycerin is let's say two so I have with me here also I'll be using two two ml so from glycerin here I'm measuring two ml to be added to so have added it to the hydrogen I've added it to the hydrogen and uh, then the last one is your distilled water which is this uh, you need 25.5 percent uh, approximately 26 and this one is 20 ml so I have to add the 20 ml then add Six add six together, then mix it together and then pour it inside the add it inside the So then you shake it, you shake it, then you have your hand sanitizer ready, you shake it very well, you shake it very well, there you have your hand sanitizer, after this is not actually the main container that I will be using if I'm selling so it means if I'm selling I have to pack it in different container so from this I can easily distribute it to different different container for sale uh, and this is our hand sanitizer that we just produced I, I think is around 133 ml uh, you can see that it's very simple and easy we follow formulation uh, 2 uh, which is recommended by World Health Organization. So anytime you are doing your own, you can also follow this formula. Not that there is no other way that you can produce hand sanitizer uh, uh, except uh, aside this. We also have different different method. Or we have another method which you can actually use aloe vera, uh, use uh, kaboma, uh, use uh, uh, IPA or ethanol and use glycerin. We have different different methods, but this one is very very specific from World Health Organization. That is the reason why I'm training you on this. And the other way, and the other uh, maybe next time, uh, I'll be also teaching you on how to make aloe vera and sanitizer.
uh, which is quite different from this so all are also hand sanitizer the only important things that the world health organization is saying concerning this is make sure that all your ingredients uh, are your output uh, has 70 percent alcohol 70 percent alcohol 70 percent alcohol so that is the recommendation by the world health organization and if you make it if you produce uh, you had too many ingredients and at the end your output uh, is not uh, having seven seventy percent uh, alcohol it means your product will not be approved by FDH. so you need to take note of this you need to take note of this very very well so once again I thank you for taking time to watch my video uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel kindly do that the subscription button is right down below the video so click on it uh, share it like my comment I mean like it and comment as well thank you very much see you next time